I found myself in some kind of a fancy arena here. Chess is for everyone arena. And I've never never been in something like this before. This is new. I, I thought I'll just record it in case something phenomenal happens. We don't think it'll happen, but you never know. At the end of the day, it's just a game of chess, man. Don't, like, get all excited and shit. Um, G4 was a little bit premature. Probably, probably I could have done something earlier, actually. Anyway, whatever. So we got a squished up position on the king side. And we're obviously going to make it very difficult for him to, to break that open. We'll play fast chess. We have to have a plan for f5. Um, just going to play solid. Just going to play solid, keep it steady. I think I'm winning a pawn here, so I'm going to take it. Now maybe I can castle queen side instead now. And seek to drop a piece in here. This is a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky indeed. Very, very tricky. Tricky, tricky. Got to be careful. Got to be very careful. Let's simplify a little bit because we could end up in a lot of trouble if we don't. And then we're going to try to hop our knight in here. Uh, yeah, king is a bit too exposed. Fortunately, we win a tempo on the bishop, so that just about saved us some time. I should probably take this rook off the the painful diagonal, so we're just gonna pull him off there, pull him off, and then come in here with the knight. Uh, that's that's pretty nice. If he comes back here, then we we'll topple away. Uh, if he's coming there already. I'm tempted to just take it just for simplicity's sake because in a I'm I'm looking to play fast here. I'm not looking to Yeah, it is tricky position though. Tricky position. He can try to win a pawn back, try to even the the whole game, you know. Yeah. Let's um Okay, we got the, uh, how do you say, the tricky piece off the board, which was the bishop pair. And now we can threaten to win this. So we're keeping his rook distracted. It's kind of overloaded, isn't it? So we're taking an extra pawn. So we're going to win that right away. Coming back here. Check. Going forward, um, yeah, I mean, it's just we're just gonna win it effortlessly, I think. You can try to win this pawn and, and usher this down here, but uh, it won't be easy. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back instead. I'm gonna try to win this pawn and usher this one forward because. This pawn is very, very close to already going to a queening square, except that it's tight, slightly tricky here, slightly tricky for no reason. Uh, okay, let's get our king all the way up, then we can do it. <clears throat> Maybe I should have first... Set this up. Yeah, let's take a pawn. I, I I'm not so happy with how I did this uh, this position, but whatever. It is what it is. We gotta keep our king into this section here. Now we should have a. Uh, we 
should have some way to finish this off, but it's honestly not so clear. <laughs> Gotta hold on to everything you got. This is actually perhaps even a theoretically drawn endgame, although I don't think it is because I do have the third rank and that's the critical one. There must be a way, there must be a way, uh, but it's not clear, it's not clear. Okay, we're gonna simplify and, and win it in the end game, I believe. I believe this is a winning end game. Yeah, you have to know your end games to win it. Thank you. All right, next one, next one, next one. Arena chess is always about high speed chess. You're always going to want to play fast because you're trying to win as many games as you can, as quickly as you can. Of course, I'm not planning to play for five hours or however long this arena is. I'm just going with the flow, enjoying some chess, playing some high speed, kick ass games, and uh, then I'm going to go on with my life. Whatever life there is of that life. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe uh, maybe this is the right way to break it forward. Knight dropping in there wouldn't be nice, but <coughs> uh, let's take the pawn. Chess is all about little blunders, isn't it? At the end of the day, tiny blunders are very costly. Probably have taken that form. It's okay, now let's try to open this up, get some pressure on that rook. Let me take the rook, put some more pressure on the rook there. Uh, yes, he's got some motifs building up down here, so let's block that over. Let's block it over. And uh, probably try to win this pawn if he gets a knight into the outpost. Otherwise, we just take the pawn. Let's just take the pawn here. And uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's take it like this. Then what? Maybe bishop here next. Let's solidify. Let's win this rook this way. We get a nice little skewer, fork, whatever you want to call it, to boot. Now let's go for something a bit naughty. Go for an immediate mate. And we get it. Nice. That was a bit naughty. I think it wasn't perfect, but it worked. Let's play one more. Well, we're playing against the uh, United Arab Emirates. Psst. I thought it was a Palestinian flag. They all look kind of similar, don't they? All those Arab countries, more or less the same flag. The four horsemen, green, white, red, and black, as they say. The ushering in of the, the uh, World War Three predicted in the Gospels. Not that anybody cares or listens or follows and whatever. It's just a script, right? Scripture is a script. So, but here we are, 1600 up against 2100, and it's uh, it's not going to be easy for him. So let's just be gentle. Be gentle. That's the best we can do. We are queen to c2. Try to look for some kind of a swanky mate there at the back. If he pushes this forward, I'm going to take this, I think. Yep, 
Okay, if he doesn't do it, then I'll take it like this. Try to uh, hold it on that uh, that knight. Okay, maybe we already capture um, queen check. And now what? How do we? How do we? How do we? How do we? Okay, let's get the rook here. There's a lot of pressure on him, so he's likely to make an error right now. Because it's scary. When you're under attack like this, it's typically a bit scary and people tend to make mistakes. But what we really want to do is open up the rook, make sure he can order off the king and that way it'll be easier to mate him. But it's not going to happen so easily here, so let's just see what happens. Uh, he's already diving out. Already diving out. That's perhaps best he could do. Okay, let's spark the pieces. Spark the pieces, come in with the queen, check, bishop check, all sorts of things likely to happen now. This will be the last game. Okay, we're already, already on the 11th minute, so we're going to try to win this ASAP, but no guarantees. Okay, that's enough, I think, for uh, for now.